good day everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to reset forgotten windows 11 password pin and microsoft account without using any kind of software so if you're stuck on the login screen on your windows 11 pc and laptop and it asks you either for the pin or for the password then how you can fix this problem i will be sharing three different methods that you can apply and i'm very sure one of the method will surely work so i will start with the easier one so what you can do if you don't remember your pin then you can click on sign in options then you'll be getting the password option and if you remember the password then you can go with that and even if you don't remember the pin and password both then you have to click on i forgot my password and then you will be getting this kind of page that says how would you like to get your security code so if you have linked any kind of phone number or email to your microsoft account then you can just enter that information you will be getting a code and with that code you can easily reset the password now another way is that you can also take the help of any other device you can just go to microsoft website enter your username enter the password that you remember and if it goes wrong then you can click on forgot my password and from there you can reset your password and once resetted you can come back again and log in with that new password to this page all right so this was the first method that you can try in case if this doesn't work next what you will have to do on the login screen only from your keyboard you need to press and hold the shift key and while holding the shift key you need to click on this power icon that is on the right hand corner and while holding the shift only click restart and then restart anyway and then you can leave the shift key and now the computer will be coming up with some advanced options so you will get this please wait screen and, and then it will finally come with this blue screen now once you come up here you have to click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options and then click on command prompt now once you come in the command prompt you will have to type a command here that will be p two dot that is colon hit the enter key then you have to type cd space windows hit the enter key again and if you come to the windows section that means that your c drive only contains the windows operating system but if you do not come to this page and get any error message then instead of c you can try d and follow the same command all right so i'm assuming that my operating system has been installed in c drive only so I am following this command. Then next you will have to type cd space system32. And now this will take me to the windows folder and then in the system32 folder. Now here we just need to rename some file. So you have to type few simple command that you will also find in the description. So the first command will be ren space utilman.exe space utilman one dot exe so we are renaming utilman dot exe to utilman one dot exe hit the enter key and the next one will be ren space cmd dot exe space utilman dot exe hit the enter key again and now we are all done type exit get out of here again click on continue and now the next time when the computer will restart at the right in corner the accessibility icon that you see when you will click on it it will come up with a black window of command prompt instead of accessibility options all right so once this page comes up the next command will be control space user password number two and hit enter and this kind of page will be coming up now once you come up here if you are using a local account you get an option to reset the password but yes we are not using a local account so what we will do we will create a local user account over here and then we will log in with that particular local account so now here from the top menu option click on advanced then click on advanced again this kind of page will be up now here click on users double click on it then make a right click over here click on new user 
and this you can name anything that you want to like your particular name your family name or just anything that you want so for example i just take like geek then i type the full name crown geek and then in the password type whatever you want to then click on create then click on close now you will see that your name has been displayed over here that you just created now make a double click on it click on member of click on users click on remove then click on add now in the box here type administrator then click on check names you will be getting the administrator option then click on ok i'm not getting the administrator so i will just click on cancel but if you will get it then you have to click on ok and then click on ok again and this user will be now member of an administrator now in case if you don't get the administrator option then you can click on users and you will be getting admin users so you can go with that option as well in case if you don't find the administrator option click ok then click on apply and then click on ok and now you can close it then click on ok and then type exit and now when the login page comes up at the left hand corner you will see that a new local account that we just created has been displayed over here so you have to click on it and then type the password that you created for that particular local account and then you will get a message the user password must be changed before signing in so click on ok and enter your now desired password that you want for this local account i can keep this anything like one two three four five and then i will confirm it and then click on the arrow icon then click ok and now this new user account will be loading up and then you will be getting this screen so you can click on accept and then you will be finally on your desktop so this method will at least let you inside your computer so once you're inside the computer again we have to go back and revert the action the file that we just renamed all right so what you can do here press window and l key to just sign out and then on the login screen only from your keyboard press and hold the shift key and then again click on the power icon then click on restart restart anyway and the computer again it will be booting up with some advanced options now here again click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option then click on command prompt and now we will just revert all the command that we use to rename the file of utilman and cmd so type c2 dot enter cd space windows enter cd space system 32 enter then you have to type ren space utilman one dot exe space utilman dot exe hit the enter key then finally you have to type ren space utilman dot exe space cmd dot exe then type exit and now you can just click on continue and once you come to the login screen and this time when you click on the accessibility icon it will come up with the accessibility feature instead of the command prompt and now you have two different user accounts so either you can go with the microsoft one or you can go in and proceed with the local account all right now this was the second method now in case if these two methods doesn't work for you in case if it asks you for the password while opening the command prompt then either you will have to go with the reset this pc option or you will have to need a bootable usb drive in order to reset the password now if you want to reset the pc then what you can do you can just click on this power icon while holding the shift key then click on restart restart anyway then click on troubleshoot and here you will find the reset this pc option then you have to click on remove everything so this is another option like in case nothing is working for you and anyhow you need your pc back then you will have to remove everything like your data personal file application and programs so this is another method and if you want to go and recover it through the bootable drive then i have already created a video you can check that video and if you don't have a bootable drive i have also created that video you can check all the link in the description or in my channel so hopefully guys this complete list of solution will surely help you to recover and reset your microsoft account password to log into your computer on windows 11 pc and laptop
and if you found this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye